my friends and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. In yesterday's video, we continued to work on the mission Dossie the Warlord, but the Warlord died before we could recruit him, so now we have his test subject on board and we need to figure out what to do with him. But before we do that, I want to check in with everybody. I did just go feed my fish, so that is done. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Well, he's gonna have to wait. But I want to check my terminal first. To see if I have any unread messages. Ooh, an important request from Mr. Ganig Ejhal Esquire. Dear sir or madam, having consulted with my colleagues at the Citadel, I have the privilege to request for your assistance to transfer a large quantity of Prothean technology uncovered at Ilos. Believing these materials to be a hazardous danger, they were locked away in quarantine. Even though the tests revealed that the fears were groundless, the quarantine remains in effect until one can pay for a permit to request a reclassified reclassification from the cultural ministry. Knowing of your interest in Prothean technology, I would be happy to deliver most of it into your hands, keeping less than half for myself. As a Batarian, I cannot engage in council official activities, but if you transfer the 20,000 credits required to me, the exchange can be made in your name, enabling us both to profit from this happy accident? Please reply urgently with your credit transfer account information. Best regards, Ganak Eshal. Uh, no. I feel like that's a scam, right? Well, no quest popped up, so it's totally a scam. All right, let's wander around the ship for a bit. You two have nothing new? All right, let's see what's going on with Joker. Commander. Oh, nothing? That's it for now. Hmm. See you, Commander. I wonder if I have to actually complete the quest, because this was the this was the dossier warlord. I wonder if I need to go complete that first before anyone has anything new to say to me. Hmm. Let's try Jacob. Who didn't appreciate my humor. <laughs> Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing okay. these talks, Shepard. We'll talk this. later. Commander. Commander. Okay, let's 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 go do this Krogan bit. We'll say first, though, just in case it the game doesn't like it. <laughs> the elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room. Well, the man. elusive man is gonna have to wait. Where is They said in the storage or something, so I guess it would be down here, right? Cargo? No, that's Aid. Cargo, not storage, Jessica. Maybe in this cargo hole? It is. Breeding pod activate. I mean, we're totally letting him out. Is there something else? Nope, that was it. The subject is stable, Shepard. Integration with onboard systems was seamless. Is he aware? Can he see anything in there? Does he know where he is? Unlikely. Current neural patterns indicate minimal cognition. Barring shipwide power loss, the nutrients in the tank could sustain him for over a year. Is he dangerous? He's a super soldier, Krogan. Of course he's gonna be dangerous. <laughs> Any idea how dangerous this guy is? He is a Krogan, Shepard. If you were asking whether he is actively hostile, I don't have the necessary data to answer. Okir's technology could impart data, not methods of thinking. The subject may know of his views, but would not necessarily share them. Detect anything odd. What can you tell me about this guy? Anything unusual? The subject is an exceptional example of the Krogan species, with fully formed primary, secondary, and tertiary organs where applicable. No defects of any kind, aside from the genetic markers of the genophage present in all Krogan. I cannot judge mental functioning. Okay, well we can open the tank or keep it sealed, and like I said, we're gonna open the tank. Let's see Stand what happens. Stand by. I'm gonna open the tank and let him out. Cerberus protocol is very clear regarding untested alien technology. Well, he's too valuable to leave. But no, Edie, I'm in charge of my ship, right? So you do as I say, Edie. 
I won't be second-guessed on my own ship by my own ship. <laughs> Do it. Very well, Shepard. The controls are online. The switch and consequences are yours. get more than that of course uh, no let's try to stand up for ourselves to the Krogan is gonna murder us I'm Commander Shepard and I don't take threats lightly I suggest you relax not your name mine I'm trained I know things but the tank Okir couldn't implant connection his words are hollow warlord legacy grunt 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 was among the last it has no meaning. It'll do. I am Grunt. If you are worthy of your command, prove your strength and try to destroy me. You want to die? Uh, okay, first off, before we go any further, the graphics and the look of him is awesome. It's so, like, textured and detailed, and I love it. But why Grunt? You want to die? Um... Let's go with the, you want to die. Why do you want me to try to kill you? Want? I do what I'm meant to. Fight and reveal the strongest. Nothing in the tank ever asked what I want. I feel nothing for Okir's clan or his enemies. That imprint failed. He has failed. Oh. Without a reason that's mine, one fight is as good as any other. Might as well start with you. So, you feel nothing for Okir? Is it that easy for Okir's perfect Krogan to abandon his mission? Okir is just a voice in the tank. If his imprints are true, then he created something stronger than him. So he's not worthy of me. And if his hatreds aren't strong enough to compel me, they've failed too. I feel nothing. I have no connection. My command is your reason. Join my crew and we'll find it stand down or else. No, again, that's... Maybe we can convince the very violent and strong Kroka to join our crew. <laughs> I have a good ship and a strong crew, a strong clan. You'd make it stronger. If you're weak and choose weak enemies, I'll have to kill you. Our enemies are worthy, no doubt about that. Hmm. Hmm. That's acceptable. I'll fight for you. I'm glad you saw reason. <laughs> <laughs> Offer one hand, but arm the other. Why, Shepard? If I find a clan, if I find what I... I want, I will be honored to eventually pit them against you. I... Thanks? I... <laughs> eventually, I'll be happy to try and murder you. Okay, okay? <laughs> Okay, so Dr. O'Kear's engineer Krogan has awakened. He calls himself Grunt and has agreed to join the team. Awesome. Ooh, I only have well, okay, let's 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 talk to everybody. Save. Actually, let me check my codex. I haven't done that in a while. Planets and locations. Let's start there. Freedom's Corliss. progress. Known as the Starcraft Cemetery, Corliss was the regional toxic junkyard for centuries. Ships reaching astronautical near-death at connecting mass relays were sent to Corliss. Stripped of every useful component, then dumped planetward to clear shipping lanes. Currently, Corliss hosts numerous Merc factions, such as the Blue Suns, rumored to be using downed ship fossils to test advanced munitions. Massive gun batteries threaten anyone attempting planetfall, with minimal defenses against ground attack. Because ancient volcanism greenhoused the planet, Corliss was too hot and CO2 rich to develop a biosphere, despite the abundant lakes that could have sponsored the development of life. 
now cool enough for protected habitation, but too scorching for anyone but extremophiles and mercenaries seeking secrecy, Corliss supports numerous Krogan outposts. The Krogan have therefore seeded Corliss with hardy Varen, often kept as warhounds. Varen live primarily on a diet of geophagus vermin and each other. Well, that explains the planet we were just on and why there were so many ships there. <laughs> So aliens, non-council races, and then again, I'm waiting to do, I, I kind of want to put off Zaid a little bit. See how that goes. Okay, so Krogan blood rage. Feared throughout the galaxy as nightmarishly violent warriors. The Krogan are both aided and hobbled by their legendary blood rage. In the grip of that madness, Krogan become seemingly invincible, but are merely total, totally unresponsive to pain. Blood and rage Krogan fight endlessly of injury level to the extent that Krogan shorn of all four limbs continue gnashing past brain death until total somatic death. Oh my gosh. The supremely resilient, hyperviolent blood rage is a synergy of two aspects of Krogan neurology. The first aspect is a positive feedback loop in which adrenaline, also activated by fear of rage, suppresses serotonin, the brain chemical that induces serenity. The second is the overdeveloped Krogan limbic system. In Krogan, as in humans, fear, uh, fear or rage shifts mental control from the frontal lobes, responsible for reasoning, to the limbic system, responsible for aggression and survival. During that shift, Krogan and humans exhibit diminished capacity for logic and self-control. Prior to the ecological devastation of Tichonka, blood rage was extremely rare among the Krogan. Back then, while all Krogan were capable of heightened anger and violence in fight or flight scenarios, almost none experienced insensitivity to pain. The 1% who did were those suffering serotonin suppression. At that time, Krogan society regarded the condition as pathological and medicated or imprisoned sufferers to protect them and society. Following nuclear ecocide for millennia ago, evolution selected only those Krogan afflicted with blood rage for survival. Today, there is no living memory among the Krogan of a life without mindless, murderous fury. Awesome! Yay! Psycho Krogans are the only ones who survived. Okay, well, let's save and, and talk to Grunt. Shepard. The mission? What are your thoughts about our mission? I fight. Doesn't matter who for. Okay, collectors? Did Okir give you any imprints about the collectors? Oh, yeah. I see blurry ships, guesswork about strength. Nothing to help pick a weak spot and tear. Okir spent all his time on old hatreds. Whatever he had, it was used up when he made me. The squad? What do you think about the crew? Good bunch if they stay out of my way. <laughs> Dead bunch if they don't. Train them good if you want to take on collectors. Some of these aliens are too smooth. Okay. Uh, the squad. Okay, upgrades. Anything in your tank imprints that can make use of the resources we found? Hmm. Might have something I could put together. Don't know how useful it will be. Oh. Uh, ship enhancements? No. Weapon upgrades. Sniper rifle damage. Let's research that. I don't think that's what he was going to do. Krogan shotgun. Okay. And then AP sniper rifle excess. The research terminal to the lab. Sniper rifle damage. I love... I, I really enjoyed the sniper rifle. But anyway, let's talk to Grunt again. We didn't finish. Shepard. Upgrades. And then I want to talk about you. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. Humans talk too much. Like the tank. Come back later. <laughs> That's all for now. Shepard. The tank talked to you? Or do you mean that Dr. Okir talked to you when you were in the tank? Dr. Okir, who's also a warlord. I feel like those should not go together. Right, let's go listen in on my engineers. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles. But engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right, let's go see what Jack's been up to. Maybe. Where is she? Oh, there she is. 
I really like this outfit on her. I feel like it fits better. She looks she's more protected in battle, even though she's so squishy. Hey. Hi. Mission. You wanna talk? Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. Uh maybe 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 later? I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. Uh, I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. I learned how to survive and not be a victim. Well, tell me about the cult you joined. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. Oh, Jack. What happened to them? I'm gonna guess she killed them. I'm just putting it out there. What'd you do when you found out? What do you think? There you go. You don't trust anyone? You must have met some good people, too. Everybody wants something. And because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all. And that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Uh, <laughs> theft of military craft? Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. <laughs> well, if they didn't want us to steal it, they shouldn't have left it unlocked, right? <laughs> I feel like even if it was locked, she would have just like ripped the door off or something. But destruction of a space station. A space station? You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. I really like her clothes. I really do. I mean, it just kind of fits her whole vibe, but I'm just like, I, I want that for my shepherd. She just kind of looks so badass. I don't know if it's like the tattoos and like the attitude is probably what it is, but like she looks so awesome. <laughs> it's still a little cuckoo, but like may maybe we can show Jack that she can trust us and but then again, we do want something from her, so that probably won't get us anywhere. But anyway, piracy. You were a pirate, too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. Uh, <laughs> vandalism? I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. <laughs> they really liked that moon. <laughs> <laughs> you regret none of it? Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. <laughs> You're welcome. I just want to double check that I don't get any new codex entries. I think there would be pop-ups, but just in case. Bye, bye, Jack. Great, great talk. Gl glad to hear about all your criminal activities. Please. I think Dr. Solus is okay. Garrus is okay. Right? I feel like that's about it. Who's okay? I have a crazy super soldier, <laughs> Krogan. I have a mercenary who's probably fine unless somebody comes along to give him a higher pay and then it's not fine. Then I've got my Cerberus colleagues who are Cerberus and then I've got Jack who, I mean, like I could say the wrong thing and she could do like a Darth Vader choke death thing. So anyway, let's let's save and talk to Saeed. Back for more. Obviously. I knew this girl once, Asari. Good head on her shoulders. We had this whole thing going. Until she sold me out to the blood pack. Put a sour note on the relationship. Yeah. Doesn't matter who you are. 
You got a gun in your face, chances are good you'll do what the other man says. Only two types don't buckle at that point. Train killers and psychopaths. A lot of people can't tell the difference. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Okay. I mean, I guess Saeed's okay. Like I said, unless he, as someone else comes along wanting to give him a higher pay, pay paycheck. Although Kasumi is okay, maybe. I mean, I think she jokes about stealing stuff from me, but like, I don't think she'd shoot me in the back. Where is Kasumi at over here? Tell me, tell me something funny, Kasumi, please. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. Well, what are they saying? Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I feel like you already told me all this stuff anyway, but thank you, Kasumi. Go check on my crew quarters. See if he knows what happened to his family. So the collectors did take New Canton. <gasps> oh no. Yes, but my wife and daughter left in the nick of time. They're resting in San Francisco as we speak. That's great news. It is, but I knew a lot of good people in New Canton. Our mission has to succeed. Thank God Shepard's in command. Oh, I'm so glad his family got out. Oh, thank goodness. That was, I was worried. <laughs> All right, what's over here? The commander has put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. Well, and apparently, I feel like I've got still like 20 more people to recruit, so, um, so there's that. I, oh, no, 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 med bay, med bay. I thought I could pick up more med gel, or was that the last game? I think that was the last game. Oh, man. Well. Poop. <laughs> All right, Garrus, can we, can we talk, or you... Are you going to meme at me? <laughs> Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can no. I wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Bye, Garrus. Watch where you're going. All right, I'm sure Miranda's got to have something to say about me letting loose a TBD psychopathic Krogan on the ship, right? Commander. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I I'll guess let not. you work. Of course, Commander. Okay. Let's go talk. To I like how I'm running but looking behind me. This is how you run into a wall. <laughs> okay, so we talked to those three. Let's go back up and talk to Jacob, Morden, and Joker. And then Kelly keeps telling me about. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room. I'm aware. But let's do my upgrades first. So, weapon upgrades. AP sniper rifle. Increased damage by 50% against armor. Improves, improves sniper rifles for entire squad. Increasing the tungsten content of slugs and recalibrating the weapons computer greatly improves penetration against hemi heavily armed targets. Sure. <laughs> I wish it wouldn't keep kicking me out, though. Biotic duration. Okay, I gotta find more upgrades. Ship enhancements. No, we're not doing that one. Prototypes. Uh, apparently, I keep doing advanced training and just wasting <laughs> element zero, so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Krogan vitality. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. And then there's a Krogan shotgun. Grunt gets a Claymore heavy shotgun. Armory scientists produced a single prototype for Grunt in violation of Council Space's weapon safety standards. The recoil on the Claymore is enough to break a human arm. Fortunately, Grunt isn't human. Okay. Anything else? Inferno armor. 
mean, I could update these to get them off my list, but like, I'm not gonna wear them so I don't feel overly interested in, in doing that. Are there med gel? Uh, okay, let's talk to Morden. Shepard, how can I help? Talk about you? Have you got a minute to talk? Perhaps later. Trying to determine how scale itch got onto Normandy. Sexually transmitted disease only carried by Varen. Implications unpleasant. Anything else? I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. I don't think there's any Varen on the ship, but... Okay. And... Jacob. Commander, can I help you with something? Probably not, but... I'm more interested in just... Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. We'll talk later. Commander. I feel like she, I, the way that she starts a conversation with him, even though I haven't like picked any romance options, I don't think it's still like kind of a come on. It's just still bad. <laughs> okay, Joker is last. Well, hopefully these two over here have something to say. No? Hmm. Joker. You collect stray cats as a kid? Because we really needed a Mega Krogan, so thanks for dragging him home. <laughs> you're, you're welcome, uh, the squad. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Well, it seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. <laughs> it's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. I assume everything's going well up here? Quiet enough. I... What the... Trouble? No, it's nothing. I... Son of a... Very funny, Edie. Real original. Stop it. You did insist on manual control, Mr. Moreau. Of his chair, I think? That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right, let's just double check. Yes, Shepard. Nothing here. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. All right, let's save and go check in with Kelly, double check her terminal, and then we have to go talk to the elusive man because Kelly is really insistent that I go and talk to him, but I know you guys keep telling me to flirt with Kelly and then she'll feed my fish. I don't want to. I would rather sacrifice more fish. I know that's heartless of me than romance Kelly. I just don't, I don't like her. <laughs> I don't like her that way. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Um, hmm. Never mind. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. No, we won't. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything you I should You have unread know? messages at your private. Anything okay. else, Commander? Nope. I'll be here That's if you need it. anything. The elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing, Commander. I know, Kelly. Commander. Like, I know. <laughs> Encrypted transmission from Elusive Man. Shepard, I see you've awakened Dr. Urkir's Krogan. A dangerous decision, but you've got free reign on this operation. If you're certain he will be a useful member of the team, you've got my support. We need every weapon we can get in this battle. If this grunt proves unreliable and has to be put down, don't lose the body. He's based at least partially on collector technology and could offer useful genetic data. But again, you are in charge. Why do I feel like you're saying that, but I'm not actually in charge? I feel like I just don't trust Kelly. I keep waiting for her to like, try to like romance me and then drug me or mind control me or something. I just, I don't, I don't want to romance Kelly. Okay. I know I can for my fish's sake, but I don't, I don't want to. I know I keep repeating myself. Um, briefing calm room I think is back here. Let's save. Then message terminal activate, I think. Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Has Morton delivered the countermeasure for the seeker swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Ashley Williams. She's stationed on Horizon. Really? 
What's she doing on Horizon? This can't be a coincidence, notify the Alliance. Yeah, what's she doing on the Horizon? Last I knew, Ash was Alliance. Why is she out in the Terminus systems? Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies. But they're up to something. And if they sent Chief Williams, it must be big. Perhaps you should take it up with her. Notify the Alliance? We should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not until you investigate. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. I, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe you. This can't be a coincidence? The Collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew. I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise the Collectors are interested in you. Especially if they're working for the Reapers. Yeah. They might be going after her to get to you. Maybe. It sounds a little egotistical to think that way, but it's Stranger Things, right? It could entirely just be a coincidence, though. But I'm apparently I'm ready to move. I, I don't know that I am, but this is happening. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. Joker set a course for Horizon. I've got to go see the professor. Aye, aye, Commander. <laughs> Tell me you have something. <laughs> yes. Lilith, we've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting matrix? Those defense towers are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Chief. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. What is that? Get everyone to the safe house. I'll cover you. Oh Run. no! Ashley! Well, that was horrible. Okay, so I only have four people left to collect. Ooh. Oh yeah, we're going with that one. 
Um, let's bring Grunt. It'll be fine, right? It'll be fine. Now, who should I bring with me? I feel like I should bring someone with biotics with me, and I'm trying to decide if that's going to be Miranda. See, I feel like this fits her better. I just wish she had, like, I don't know. I just wish it was a different setup of that. Miranda or Jack? Hmm. Let's bring Miranda. She's Cerberus. I feel like she might have something to say in all this stuff. So let's let's uh, let's see how this goes. <laughs> okay, so Krogan Berserker. Let's get this all leveled up, and then I should have Krogan Pure Blood. Grunt's mastery of his blood rage increases his already fantastic regeneration rate, letting him survive wounds that would kill other Krogan. Plus fifty percent health. Okay, and then Krogan Warlord. Grunt, Grunt can go berserk without losing his lethal focus, increasing his weapon damage. I feel like I'm going to go with that one. Yeah. And then... Fortification. Hmm. Let's do Concussive Shot. And then let's get Incendiary Ammo going as well. It burns through organic targets, blocking health regeneration, damaging armor, and making unshielded enemies panic. Synthetic enemies are more resistant to fire damage, but I feel like the collectors aren't synthetic. I'll do that one as well. Okay. I think it stops health regeneration, detonates any biotic powers already affecting the target. Overload, in addition to massive damage on shields and synthetic enemies, overload now briefly stuns synthetic foes. And, hmm. I feel like I want to do overload, but now I'm stuck and I can't do anything else. And then I'm all good on mine because I did that last time. Okay, so I was going to try the collector assault rifle. Shotgun is fine. Sniper rifle is fine. Okay. And then Grunt. I feel like this was the, the heavy shotgun for... Claymore is a human design that's only used by Krogans. Yeah, because only a Krogan can equip it because otherwise... We would, like, it would break a human's bones. Okay. I feel like, I feel like we're ready. first. Let's get him on his shotgun and put her on her SMG. Understood. Change weapons. And let's get on my weapon buff. And let's get Grunt's weapon buff on. And then, okay. Let's save and hopefully not have an awkward cut today, but we'll, we'll see. I doubt we're probably going to get through everything considering how slow I am. Horizon. We're ground side. Morden, you sure those armor upgrades will protect us from the seeker swarms? Certainty impossible, but in limited numbers should confuse detection make us invisible to swarms. In theory. In theory? Experimental technology. Only test is contact with seeker swarms. Look forward to seeing if you survive. <laughs> hey, th thank you. <laughs> Okay, so stop the collector. Cerberus has determined that an alien race called the Collectors is attacking human colonies. So apparently I assembled enough of a team to go to Horizon. Go to the human colony of Horizon and stop the Collector's attack. Explore Horizon, look for a way to stop the raid. Colony of Horizon is under attack by Collectors. This provides a rare chance to stop an attack rather than investigate the results. But I had a codex entry for Horizon. Freedom's a typical Terminus colony possessing minimal tourist value. Horizon promises substantial economic opportunity, especially in providing new products for humans and supplying the Turian hierarchy. 
Surveyed 18 years ago, Horizon received pilot habitation four years later. The colony proper is now eight years old. Blessed with verdant forests and abundant fresh water, Horizon maintains a colonial culture that thrives as a refuge from the increasing restrictions of citadel-governed society. Horizon has attracted numerous dissidents, marginal people, and fringe dwellers from across Alliance space. Hmm. Okay, so they're not fans of Alliance. So why was Ashley here if she still works for the Alliance? Right? <laughs> so like, it's like walking with a dinosaur. Thud, 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 thud. so good. There are power soldiers I'm going to click on over here. Although I do want to try my collector assault rifle. Sure, the heavy weapon ammo will come in extremely useful. Extremely handy, not extremely useful. That works. A data pad. Is it going to have credits on it? <laughs> A white, orange, blue. Um, that one, I think. Oh! That one. Okay, seriously, where... <laughs> I won't want to miss any awesome upgrades. No, I no doubt already have. Okay. That way. I can't go that way. I can go this way. Worms done those bug close ups. <laughs> the collectors are disrupting communications. We're on our own now. Yay! All right, well, I know it's probably a little bit short for today, but since I can save, I am going to pause here. And on Wednesday, we'll pick back up here and try to complete this quest, maybe the quest for Horizon and. Go from there. No promises. I'm slow. <laughs> and I want to make sure We're I clear. investigate everything. But but there's my plan, and, and, and that's that. <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again on Wednesday with another new Mass Effect 2 video.